Hello and welcome to the forest. Today I'll be talking about the Canon G5, which is an advanced compact from the year 2003. And when it comes to D cams, I do prefer the ones which have a bit more settings and features, things you can play around with. And the G5 definitely fits that description very well. When it comes to the basic specs, the camera has 5 megapixels, a 35 to 140 millimeter lens, f2 to f3. So that's quite a nice lens. And well, this is something that the early Canon G series were known for also to have the f2 lens quite nice and bright. Besides that, there are many more things to like, for example, program modes, including fully manual, nice control wheels to adjust your settings, raw files. On the back, there is a fully articulating screen. On the top, there is an information LCD which is a nice way to say batteries. Instead of uh, having the screen on, you can do your settings here on top. Also on the top, there is a hot shoe, which is compatible with Canon's professional flashes, as well as many more manual functions like white balance and manual focusing. The G5 is not one of the more popular ones among the Canon G series, but it's definitely a powerful compact camera. The predecessor to the G5, the Canon G3, is very similar. Usually it comes in silver color though. And the G5 is of the same generation as the Canon 10D. It even has the same battery. And well, indeed, the G series are actually meant as an well complement to professional photographers, where a DSLR would be too big or bulky to bring with you. So it's like a light alternative to a DSLR, basically. And when it comes to the image quality, well, it is good for a compact from the year 2003. The sensor is not the biggest, it doesn't have the one inch sensor like the newer GX uh, series. But yeah, I mean, it's the camera from 2003, so for that, the image quality is actually quite nice. When photographing with the camera, I have been using, well, mostly the odd settings and also JPEGs. I tried the RAWs a few times, but I don't know, when I'm using cameras like this, I prefer to use like full auto and JPEG, even though it has a lot of manual settings. But when you need those settings, you can go in and use those. From those other settings, the pictures turned out nice. I mean, the white balance and exposure were all quite fine. No problems there, what I could see. Other than maybe a bit dull colors and low contrast on the default JPEG settings. So on these photos, I increased the contrast a bit afterwards when I was editing. But of course, you can also adjust the settings in camera so you can get more saturation and contrast directly to your files, straight out of the camera. Now, the things I don't like about the camera, well, the form factor is a little bit weird. It has a like, bit long rectangle shape and it's quite fine to hold. It has a small grip though, so there's at least that. But I think the later G series have, have a bit better form factor than this. The camera is quite slow to start up. When you put it on, it takes some time for it to fold the lens out. But once you are in the picture taking mode, it's, not, it's actually okay for such an old camera, I would say. If you try to start the camera with the lens cap on, it will not work because the lens cannot push out the lens cap. So you have to take it off and then it will hopefully start. Otherwise you just have to start it again. So it's a bit of a built-in trap there, but this is common for cameras from this uh, time. Some people have mentioned that color fringing is a problem with the lens, but uh, I don't know. I don't think that's so important to be honest. I don't care so much about that. It's a nice bonus effect perhaps. So, what about the video mode? Well, I do like testing the video when I'm uh, trying out the gig cams. On this one, it's not that exciting. It's uh, 320 by 240 and 15 FPS. You can record in three minutes. I mean, if you want like low five video, for that is good, but I don't know, it's a bit, there are more exciting gig cams when it comes to video. But I'll put up some video clips here from it in any case.
would I recommend this camera? Well, if you like old digi cams, then <laughs> sure, why not? It's a fun camera to play around with. And you can also get some good photos from it. It has very advanced features and yeah, the image quality is well, good enough. <laughs> you can get a nice digi cam look from it. But if you want a fast and responsive camera, well, then I would look into the newer Canon G series like G7 and forwards. Yeah, it's not so user friendly, this old G5. Well, and those were my thoughts about the Canon G5. If you have any questions, you can always write in the comments. Well, thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!